Lotus Land will reopen to the public next week following a two month long closure. News Channel reporter Blake Devine shares how the historic estate implemented new safety measures for guests. Lotus Land has been closed since mid March. And it hasn't been easy surviving without guests. As an organization, we have suffered a great deal of loss. So we're looking at revenue shortfalls of a million dollars this year. Recently deemed as an essential outdoor recreation space, the Botanical Garden will reopen next week. Face masks will be required along with hand sanitizer and physical distancing. We've staggered our tours and what that's allowed us to do is have just a couple of cars coming in at a given moment. It lends itself, you know, to that, you know, kind of environment where people are able to distance themselves. Good morning, Lotus Land. Many locals have been quick to make reservations for the return to the 37 acre botanical wonderland. It's so wonderful to have people back at the gardens and just to see everyone's smiling faces and uh, the, there's a general sense of calm as people are, are walking around. They're going to, to enjoy the fact that they can be back in such a tranquil, peaceful environment. For self-guided tours, visitors can simply scan these QR codes for information on Lotus Land's many gardens. We wanted to do something that helped people to navigate their way through through the gardens and learn a little bit more about each garden. The staff remains confident visitors will benefit from the beauty of the botanical garden. It's so important to be outside in nature right now and we've all been challenged to do that safely. Lotus Land provides respite for all of us. To be able to come and spend two hours at a, an oasis like Lotus Land is just so wonderful for for mental well-being in montecito i'm news channel reporter blake divine